Shalom, I'm going to first of all, please go to Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Rekha Kardash, the Barnes and Milsim, Satan Kalek. I want to listen on real quick on sin and being free, bro. Because out of everybody in this world, man, out of a lot of people in this world that, you know, that live the day to day lives, stuff like that, you are the people that are truly free, bro. Not these people that, you know, that go around committing, bu committing bullshit, man. That, you know, like, just live, they live, they, you know, like, they live freely, right? But the thing is, they're, they're, they're basically bound to death, bro. Because they've been always been constantly sinning and sinning and sinning. And motherfuckers even know it, too. They're basically bound to death. But us brothers, you know, because he has been given that mercy, the possible, you know, and a, possibly, a chance of being, being the possible elect, we're honestly free. You're free from the cages of this world, this carnal world, bro. To live spiritually. Slap <laughs> my nose, you fucking up. <laughs> but I'm gonna start from Romans 6 and verse 11. And raise likewise, reckon ye be, ye also yourselves be dead into indeed sin. <laughs> also, you know, we have sinned so much, bro, that Abe. Hey, the wages of sin are death. We keep reading on. He is but alive unto Yahweh through Yahweh Shemashiach, our Lord. Let not sin therefore reign in your mortal body, that you shall be that you shall obey it in the lust thereof. So Amen, hey, don't you know don't let sin control you, bro. Because look, sin is off because most things you know when you commit sin, it's just an impulse. Fuck yeah. Most of it's honestly it's impulse control. And like, you know, don't do this, don't do that, bro. It's more than mostly just impulse control. You're controlling, basically you're controlling yourself. At the end of the day, sin, you know, sin starts as a thought, man. Sin starts as, as a thought, and that's where he's committed, bro. That's, you know, you're thinking wickedness. That's really basically it's mostly just impulse control. So basically control your impulses, man. Control how you think, bro. Basically let your sin therefore reign. So let not your sin therefore reign in your mortal body. That it shall be that you shall bait it in the lust thereof. <laughs> like, oh yeah, you know that woman got a, a nice body, but she has, she has man's, but I'm gonna still go for that. You're letting your lust, you're letting your your carnal flesh control you. you ne neither will ye members as as instruments of a, out of a second, read again. Neither yield ye your members as instruments of unrighteousness unto sin, but yield yourselves unto Yahweh, as if those are alive from the dead, and from and your members of a righteousness of Yahweh. For sin shall not have dominion over you, for ye not for ye are not under the law, but under grace. <laughs> as seen, but we are not under we are. We we follow the commandments of the law, but we are under grace, man. Because look, honestly, bro, like all the brothers sh should be dead, bro. Because of what wages are sin are death. But through the grace, the mercy of Yahweh and his son Yahweh Shai, we have given yeah, that that grace. To yeah, she keep pushing, she keep putting, you know, keep fighting, keep put, keep pushing, keep fighting for this truth, man. But verse fifteen. So what then? Shall we sin because we're not under the law, but under grace? <laughs> so for you scoffers, then you know what? Oh, saying that, oh, we're not under the law no more. We're under grace no more. So we can do this with that. And it says, yeah, how will forbid? Be like, you got to show how you're like, all right, you're truly a man of the most side. And so you got to put, basically, I mean, keep, fuck you, I know, just keep fucking up. <laughs> Allergies and shit, bro. But basically, it is, man. It's like, oh, you know, like, oh, like, oh, we're not under the law no more because we're under grace. We gotta show that how we're, we're not trying to have dominion, how we're trying to have the moral, the the the, the more our mortal body, the carnal spirit has control over us, but a more spiritual thing, man. You can be carnal or spiritual; you can't be both. So you still gotta follow the law to this day, man. Try to follow the law to best to the best of your ability. That's the thing because at the end we're not we're all gonna fuck up, bro. We're all gonna fuck up. And you're wearing fixed fabrics is a sin, man. 
Man, like most most of the shit here, it's it's wickedness. So let's say we're trying to follow law to the best of your ability. Keep reading on. It reads, "No, you not that whom you yield yourselves servants to obey, his servants to whom ye obey, whether of sin unto death." Or obedience unto righteousness. So you're gonna be, you're gonna be like, all right, just committing sin. You're gonna have sin control over, over yourself unto death. Or what is it, bro? Or obedience unto righteousness. Of being obedient. And yeah, remember that righteousness is immortal. So like one thing, but that remember, freedom, we're, we're basically, basically, yeah, we might die. You know, night, you know, die, bro. <laughs> Along with you having this truth, bro. The thing is, death doesn't have dominion over us, bro. Look, like, when people die, man, once people die out there, they, they die without the law. They, thought, they die without the Most High. That's a scary thing. But you die in this truth, a call of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh bro. Because you died in this truth. That's a good, that's a good and righteous thing, man. Man, you get the punishment of these people, bro. That, that, that's, a, that's a great thing, man. When these people they die, bro, they die, they die sinning, and they get judged for that. <laughs> but how will be thanked that ye are serp that that ye were servants of sin, but ye have obeyed from the heart that formed a doctrine, which was, which was delivered, which it's like which was delivered you, being made free from sin and become servants of righteousness. So we're free from sin now, bro. We're free from basically being bound unto death because of, of sinning. But we're now a servants of righteousness. That's the ultimate freedom that we can get, bro. But at the end, everything is controlled by the Most High. But we have, we're no longer basically that, you know what? At the end of the day, this is our judgment, this and that. Basically, we're, basically, we're, just, we're just prisoners then. But being a servant, a righteousness, that's the best thing, man. Because if you're part of elect, call out Yahweh Hashem Shai. That's the ultimate freedom, man. We're striving, also, we're striving for freedom, bro. Basically, in a sense, man. That also takes no such thing as free will. No such thing, man. But that's the ultimate freedom, bro. That we're no longer bound by this shit, bro. Bound by this world. This world is it's fucking it's bullshit, man. Honestly. But it's like it's John 8 and verse 32. And it reads, And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. The truth shall make us free, man. And it reads, Then, then he, it's like, it, then, it's like it, they answer him, we be, uh, we be Abraham's seed, and were never in bondage to any man, how they will say you shall be made free. It's like say, but like they, because people think like, well, like how you, how like I mean, made free, we're already free, like we're not in bondage, we're not in captivity. How like how we're not free already? And you see, how I should answer, verily, verily, I sense you, whosoever committed sin is a servant of sin. Basically, you feel don't think like what he honestly, these people are just captives, bro. They're controlled by their sin. They're controlled by lust. They're controlled by their bodies. They're controlled by not having impulse control. <laughs> Suck it. Keep moving on. There he is. Now read it again. Yahweh Chancellor said, Very really, I send to you, who has ever committed sin, is the servant of sin, and a sin, and a, and a servant abideth not in the house forever, but the son abideth forever. If there, if, it's okay. If thy son therefore shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. So that's our freedom, man. That's how we get free. We're free from this. Honestly, we're free from this place, bro. That's our ultimate freedom. That's how we're. That's our ticket out of here. Because at the end of the day, what this place is trying for, this place is coming for. Everybody already knows this already. Is death, death and destruction. We're basically. Well, that one, but part of the lack, part of that lack, I want there, bro. We're free from that, man. Like you might die, but you won't be die. Like you won't die for the reasons for these people are dying, man. You know, Easton might kill you, bro. 
But you're not dying for the reason these people are, these people are, are dying for, man. You're dying because of righteousness. And at the end, we're just going to sleep. That's it. When we die, bro, we're just going to sleep. We're actually going to have our rest. Rest from this place, bro. That's what I get, bro. So, hey, man, we're the be this is the best position you could ever be in your possible life. You strive for it, bro. The fact that for all praise go to Yahweh, Bahashin, Yahweh, Shai, Bahashin, Kakadash. Next time, Akim, Shalom.